This is where you know it's all about yard settings on Assassin Radio. Catch me live Sunday, the 4th of September, hosted by King Lagazi from 12 noon until 3 p.m. It's gonna be a bombshell. Make it fly. Uh, two on Assassin Radio. You understand me? Easy. In Accra, we live on 99.5. In Kumasi, we live on 98.5. In Cape Coast, we live on 100.3. Easy. And in the Northern Region, Tamale, we live on 99.7. Easy. My name is King Lagazi. The show is Yard Settings. Zing. I saw a radio. And trust me, our guest on the line is Mr. Vaughn Wayne Charles. A.K.A. Win Wonder. Easy. Win. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can see you now. <laughs> yes, even now. Easy. I switched over to my phone. I, switched, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what was going on with the computer, but I switched to my phone, so I'm good now. <laughs> no, yes, 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 yes. Nice, nice, nice. Zing. I saw a radio. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, so, um, how is the vibe like, and and where exactly? are you now right right now I'm, I'm actually home today i'm in south florida i'm giving giving, giving you the, the, the panoramic view see it see it see it, see it, see it, see it. look at it look at it look at it <laughs> what yeah. where is the gold plaque <laughs> <laughs> where is it <laughs> the gold plaque south florida I'm, I'm in south florida right now okay <laughs> uh, all right all right I, I, I was talking about the the no letting go um gold plaque. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have it with you in the studio? Yes, I, I can I can go. Let, let me go. Let me put this. Let me put this on a tripod so I can be yeah be, be flex more flexible. Let me do this. Definitely. Easy. Let me go get it for you. Definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've just made the connection to. Mr. Vaughn. So this, this one, this one is the one from the US. Wow. Wow. So this one is certified gold in the US. Wow. Wow. And wow. then this one, this one is from the UK, certified gold also. For the same song, No Letting Go. Yes, yes. Uh, so so um you released this song in 2003, you know. Yes. And for 19 years now. You, you're getting a reward for it. How how does it feel like? It just shows you that um, don't give up. Just keep doing your work. And, you know, from you put your best in, you, you will be rewarded. Same, same, same. All right, so um, we will come to this, but let's step in. To, to, to all the Ghanaians who don't know Wayne Wonder, but, but um, Wayne... Trust me, we live, we live on 99.5 in Accra. In Kumasi, we live on 98.5. In Cape Coast, yeah. we live on 100.3. And in the Northern yeah. region, we live on 99.7. And approximately over 40 million people are listening to us right now over the whole country. You understand wow. me? So I don't know, little boy, I think this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's huge, man. <laughs> that's, that's um, amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, but so to all those who don't know Win Wonder, who who exactly are you? <laughs> all right, how should I put what this now? Um, I would say I'm a Jamaican um dance already artist, you know, um, that has no no limits you know, to my creativity, you know, um, easy going, um. I'm in touch with my, my, my human side, um, you know, I'm, I'm very passionate, you know, um, I got so much love inside of me, you know what I mean? I'm a humanitarian also, I care about people, you know, if so, I don't have to know somebody to feel the, the pain and the hurt, you know what I mean? I'm just you know, a real person, you know what I mean? No mm-hmm. hype, no ego, you know, it's not about the hype, not about ego, it's not individual, you know, so that's about the, the music and you know, the work that needs to be done. Yeah, so and basically, and, that sums up winning one. All right, so um, I can attest to the fact that talking about hype and ego and all these things, I can attest to that particular fact because the first time we linked up, it was it was so smooth and 
you know, I, 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 I am still surprised up to today. You know, <laughs> when one that just said, Lagazi, I'm going to load you up with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the next minute, <laughs> they will say, check your email. And yeah. when I check into my, when I check my email, it was, and I, I was, I was amazed. But <laughs> if, if I check it, I, I still don't have no letting go on dog, but you know, just send, just re, just resend me the list because sometimes you have to refresh my mind. You know, it's like a million and one stuff. Easy. You know what I mean? So guess what happened? And it, it's it's so easy for me because because I have a home studio and I, and I engineer my stuff. I don't have to wait and for the engineer to come over. Look at this. Definitely. I'm right in the lab right now, and so it's like for me, it's like just having fun and just it oh. also helps me to keep my spirit up and my vibe and my creative flow going. Definitely. So if you say we ain't one, I need that Nagazi. Nagazi so need some dub. It's easy for me to just go in the lab. Pro Tools is always on. Look at that. No matter if I pro tools, pro tools is always on. Let, hold on, let me put him up. This is always on. See. This is always on. The session is always up and ready. Look at that. Up and ready. Shit. A <laughs> session is always open. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so, so that's how we do. So, people, <laughs> we are we are also live on Asase ninety nine point five. You know, Facebook page. You understand me? So, if 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 you want to see what exactly is going on with Win Wonder, he's inside his own his his home studio. You understand? Relaxing himself and all that. You you can also view that. You understand me? Make sure if you step on the live, make yeah, sure you yeah, share yeah. it. Share share the live and let Holy. everybody Holy. see it. Holy. Mm. <laughs> All right, so when in terms of music now, how did it start with you? All right, for me, I, I guess, guess it's the community. Started from the community because um, where I, I, I was raised, um, it was a, a rich culture. It, it's a place called Red Zone where every Sunday night you have like the, 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 the full genre of the Jamaican music. If you if you listen from her, I could stay in my yard mm -hmm. and hear everything. I didn't have, have to go down the road. Mm -hmm. I could stay right in my yard. So I get uh, exposed to all the genres of the music, from the ska coming up right up, the early Bob Marley, the head tones, and the, just the early foundation of the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It just, just found me because I was actually in my yard just hearing everything. I didn't have to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And um uh, I go to church, you know, I guess my, my mom, she was in the choir. By being there, watching my mom at choir practice, I just start singing to exercise my voice, to, and, you know, it just transcend to, you know, that soul search for the music, you know. End up on youth high I met up with singing melody, singing melody, introduced me to King Tubby's, we are recording my first song, and then I never look back from there. All right, so... um. Let's talk about this part. Uh, at at what age um, did you know you meet you know singing melody and singing melody decided to introduce you you know to King Tobis? Uh, when I met when I met sing, singing melody, um, well, I just left school, just just left um, school, and you know we're just trying, trying to figure out what really what I really want to do. You know, I was in the art foundation. Um, I was, you know, because okay. I'm um, accounts and POB. So mm -hmm. I'm dabbling that life for a year, but, you know, that was my passion. You know, so the music just pulled me towards, you know, the lights and the, that studio vibe. I always want to be in a studio. I want, always want to have a record, you know. So I just pursue that, you know, end up on youth high power with singing melody. And... I was maybe like 18, 19, you know what I mean? Somewhere about. You know, and from there, we just, I just had a passion for it, you know. And All right. Sometimes so, I leave my house without atmosphere. I don't, just one atmosphere. I don't, I don't know who I'm going to return from. Because there wasn't any studios in Eastern Kingston. So I had to go all the way at West Kingston. You know, that's where all the, the King Jammies and the King Tubbies are, you know. So you had to find your way there. Or any means necessary. Okay, so um, from from where you were, and for you to move that far, you know, into the studios and 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 all that from from youth high power now being on that sound system, um, moving from there, you know, to Metro Media. How was 
the vibe like with, with, with Metro Media Sound System? All right. Well, I ended up on Metro Media. I'm from Eastern Kingston, so I'm from Dunkirk here. So, like, every Wednesday night, mm-hmm. Metro sure. Media play yeah. at a place called Alman Town, one more street. So, that, that's, that, that's like their base. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was there a couple of times, but, you know, I was encouraged by my community also because when they walk with me, they always say, no, we don't want to go touch the mic. We don't want to give you free, but touch the mic. Mm-hmm. You know, and they, they build up my courage and, you know, touch the mic a couple of times and, you know, they know, say, we anyway, we are not easy with my easy and come from East you know. So mm-hmm. Metro me the singer by the name of Dr. C went to Japan and stayed a long while. Mm-hmm. So one day Metro me, me Jimmy Father Metro, the owner of Metro Media, just look at me and say, We I love you on the sound you know, as Metro Media singer. And that's where it all started though. My my, my, my my pictures appeared on Metro Media posters. I'm sure. traveling all over Jamaica to perform on Metro Media. And the ball just started roll for me. Start doing dope plays for different songs and you know, start doing more recordings and you know, fall into place. Uh, all right, um, Wayne, please, I want you to do something for me. It, it looked like the first, yeah. the first connection was better. This one looked like, um, the voice repeating itself. So, if you can take it off your the, um, what, the, the earphone, okay, yeah. uh, let me do this, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. If you can take it off. Yeah, man. Hey, Zing. Zing. I saw a radio. Zing. I saw a radio. So I don't know a sassy radio. And trust me, we're talking to Wayne Wonder all the way from his home studio. And trust me, we're making sure that everything good. You understand me? Big up to the technician on duty, um, Jonah. You understand? Making sure that everything capacetic in the studio. Hey, Zing. Right, son. Don't panic. Never get weary. Don't get panic. <laughs> I, I was looking at the time, man, and, and 35 got into the uh, two over here. Exactly 3 p.m. will be out of here. So, you know, and, and we, I have I have dozens of questions to ask you, Wayne, and, and yo, this network must be, you know, stable and the, and the, and the, and the connection and everything. I would like to say you big know, respect. You know, you know why? You know why? Because we're supposed to do it live in the Assassin Studio. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do it live in the Assassin Studio. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yo, Mr. Jando, Mr. Jando, you heard from Wayne Wonder. He said we need to do it live over here. Live. Yes, Mr. sir. Mr. Jando, so where you say? Where you say, Godfather? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. I saw a radio. Yeah, man. So... Around around that time when you were on a Metro Media Sound System, were you having any singles? Um, about that time, Metro Media started cutting some dubs with me, mm-hmm. and right about then that's where when Singing Melody um introduced me to King Tubbies, and I recorded my first song. So, yes, at that time, like everything just start falling into place. So I had a, I did a cover version of Rick, Rick Ashley's. I'm never gonna give you up for King Tubby's that came out on the King Tubby's label. And that was my first record. I remember walking with that record, letting the sound play it, then I took it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh I go to a different, different spot and a different sound, let them play it, and I take it back. You know? Wow. And I, I just campaign, campaign with that record. You know? How was it like like having a record in your hands and moving with a 45? To, to every dance and say, yo, play this. After they play, say, give me back. <laughs> yeah. Just, I was just so ecstatic. I was just so, you know what I mean, full of energy and like, because I can't believe that I really have a record, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I just have a record that this, this was what like was one of the biggest thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Could have happened to me. You know what I mean? So it just really encouraged me, inspired me to just push. Was a great feeling, man. To not have a record in my hand, it's a weenie one, and it's my vocals on it, and I know the process to cut stamp on, you know, to to make the record itself. And I went through all that process, and now I have it in my hand. Was just a great feeling. Wow, we give thanks. So, how how was the '90s like? How was the '90s like for you? You know, like from, let's say, 1990 to 1999. Within the '90s, how how was it like for you as an artist? In terms of recording, in terms of sound system, in terms of dub plate, 
in terms of everything? How was it like? It was, it was just, it was just you know, um, tremendous, amazing, because during that time, that like the 90s, I'm, I'm basically got my foot in. By that time, I'm at Penthouse Records now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I, I pick out, I, my first album I recorded for uh, um, a producer by the name of Pick Out. Mm -hmm. But then I but migrated, so I was like in Square One and Tubby's passed away. So mm -hmm. the two people who had interest in me, one died and one migrated. Okay. So I end up at Penthouse, and that's where I got to meet Dave Kelly, you link up back with Dave Kelly, because me and Dave Kelly come from way back. Mm -hmm. And Dave was an engineer, and that's where we get to record every day. Just imagine I have a studio that I can be every day, 24-7, every day, day in, day out. So from, from I would say from 90 to about 93, that month, that's I took like three years, four years to make Penthouse catalog, you know. Wow. Four years. Just imagine that. How, to do all Penthouse songs. Four years to do that. How would you describe the Penthouse experience? How would you Amazing. describe that? Amazing. That was like a college for me. Just imagine I could be at class every day. And getting all the curriculums, going all over all the studies. That was that was like a university for me. I was there every day. I was the first one to be at studio. And I'm, I'm the last one to leave. I told you, I, I made Pentos catalog in four years. Mm -hmm. And then I'm bas I was basically a, a Pentos slash models artist from day one. Because when Dave decided to go on his own and, and form models. I was part of models also. See. And then we took from, from, say, I would say from 93 mm -hmm. to 99, and we just mall out that models segment also. All right, so... You know what I mean? Um, when you were with Penthouse, your time, around that time, which, which were some of the artists that were with you, you know, at Penthouse? Were you right. when, I, when, mm -hmm. I, when I went to Penthouse, um, Jeremy and used to record like Father Berry's, Marcia Griffiths, mm -hmm. um, Deborah Wilson, Nana McLean. I, I went, when I went there, they, these were like big stars. Mm -hmm. Roddy Tom, you name it, Jeremy and a big producer. Mm -hmm. I came, pro I was Penthouse first artist, like I say, artist, I'm Penthouse artist. Mm -hmm. And, me being Penthouse artist, I used to sing on Metro Media every Wednesday. That's where I met Ke Cutty Ranks and tell Cutty, yo, come on Penthouse. So I actually told Cutty Ranks about Penthouse before Jeremy and Sant managed Cutty. And See. so I, may, I recruit the artists them I bring them to Penthouse. Including Booty. Me, 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 Tony Rebel. I may tell Tony Rebel, say, yo, Penthouse. You know what I mean? I him, him, him bring Garnet and come up in those them time the garnet named bimbo yeah. garnet even was singing at that time garnet was a dj by the name of bimbo yeah see mm -hmm. and then now me and frankie sly have a dance for god and i check winston riley and but no of both of them never meet him personally because mm -hmm. stumpy the engineer always tell you, telling us about this song called stamina daddy mm -hmm. so when I finally met up with him i said yeah man i know you man he said well, come and dance with me mm -hmm. so from the I pick him up that night and came to the dance with me and call him up and he mushed the place. Mm -hmm. Me and him start par. Them time the Germans don't know Bujo. Nobody don't know Bujo at mm -hmm. And me recruit bring them in. And, and you know, pull them up Jacob's ladder. They don't talk about it still. Some of them don't talk about it, but that's the truth. Definitely. I, I, would, I would be making up stories. Definitely. And I remember I call him up on Sting 1991. And by Sting 1992, he was the headline act. Well on, well on. Sting 1991. I, I will I would love to talk about this. How many minutes did you have Sting 1991 to perform? I had 15 minutes. You had 15 minutes to perform? Yes. And on top of it, you call Buju on stage and give me and and and, and you give him piece of it. Yeah, man, give him piece of the pie, man. And it mush the whole place. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I never heard him say that before. That is, that is true. The record is there. Videos are out there. Yeah. Wow. You know, but it, as I said, I'm a type of person. I don't do this for sure. Definitely. I don't do this for, to say it's about me. I just I do it from here. Definitely. I do it from right. Genuinely. Definitely. 
so 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 um 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 we talking about the things you've done for artists who don't go out there and a lot of these artists are big artists now that people listen to that 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 people yeah. watch and all that kind of thing you've done all these things for them and they don't go well i've i've, I've never I, i don't know i stand to be corrected but i've never heard anybody on interview saying this like a couple few but you know like the main ones that we know that are popular in Ghana and around the world and all that kind of things don't yeah. throw the, the 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 light on some of these yeah. things that even as as big as Buju is now in 1991 you had 15 minutes and you had to give him you know a piece of it and he mash it up and in the following year he was the headliner he was headline um, his picture was so big wow yeah wow <laughs> and I, I remember I am I'm getting booked for the shows and I am giving him money out of my money. Wow. And I am I am flying out and I, I am bringing back stuff for him because I used to ever say that you can't par and don't star. So I'm trying my best to make him look good and look like a star too. Definitely. I, I'm I'm the one who used to pick him up in in my little two door civics way before him have car. Wow. But he don't even talk about those things. Mr. Win, Win, talk to me now. How how is the relationship between you and Buju now? No, not zero. From 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 he came back and did all that 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 show run, mm -hmm. and I thought that everything was good. From after the show, nothing, no communication. Way before pandemic, so pandemic is like three years. So we don't really have no relationship for like for the past three plus years, like zero. I can't believe this. Easy. Yeah, man, it's the truth, man. I wouldn't be making up stories, man. You mean when one that don't have any relationship with, like, would you cut the 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 connection between you and him? Yeah, no, it's like zero communication. No, no, not even say, yo, brother, how you do? You're good? If I even that, nothing. Number change, no communication. Like, as some, you know, different people. You know, none of the youth them way was there from day one. You know, me, them them even show them about no love. Me nah, me nah go around. Me nah, me nah really like talk about this thing, but it's just, just the truth. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can't make up stories. Definitely. I can't and say, yeah, man, everything good, man. No. You know, I'm not a hypocrite. You know, Definitely. I just keep it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. Zing. Assassin Radio. Wow. You live on Assassin Radio. I was talking you know, to and, and from there, from there. I, I'm the one who recruit, recruited Baby Sham too. Baby Sham was with Sprogger. Then him dropped amongst me. Then you know, me carry him to Penthouse and him meet Dave and him and Dave form a good relationship. And Baby Sham, you see what Baby Sham turned out to be you now, a big artist yeah. also. Yeah. But always I help up Jacob's ladder. We don't talk about it still, but you know what I mean? We just do it from here. I'm telling you, I do it from here. Definitely. I'm always like to see youth elevate and can come help 10 other people too and 20 other people because I remember where I'm coming from. Wow. You know? Wow. 47 gone into the R2 on a sassy radio. We're reasoning with Wayne Wonder. And trust me, um, <laughs> on the most serious note, I'm, 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 I'm kind of speechless right now. But everything good and everything is all right in the place. Trust me. Um, we give thanks and praise Um Oh, so Eddie Rang says, ask him about his brother, Benjamin. Um, Edward Ohini Jang of Nexus Sound System says, I should ask you about Benjamin. Who, who is Benjamin? Who is Benjamin again? Benjamin. Who is Benjamin? <laughs> yeah. He, he said... So, so he, many faces, so many names. Okay. <laughs> Along the okay. He said, I, um, ask him about his brother, Benjamin. I don't have a brother by the name of Benjamin. Okay. All right. So Be that's misinformation. Okay. Respect. Big up Lisa on the live. Big up Samuel. Nee Hayford. Big up um, Stephen McCarthy. Big up Della Lawrence. Big up Aita Bingi. All these people, them on the live. You know, big respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, everyone sir. on the live. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, man. We give thanks. We give thanks. So, um, in terms of your 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 
your career now. I know, I know when Wonder is there, is touring. Um, I think la last week I, I spoke to you and you were like, you, you just came from a show and all that kind of thing. So it, it means that you're still touring, right? Yes, um, I was in um, Colorado last week with Sprugger Benz, Ding Dong, and a few more artists, Chenille Muir. Then um, on Sunday, last week Sunday, I was in Brooklyn. Um, I was invited with um, Skinny Fabulous at a show in, in, in Brooklyn. So I, I'm, I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm always keeping busy. I just say I have a studio, a record at my own leisure. You know, I, I just you know, facilitate myself. I'm self-driven. So there ain't no stopping us now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Easy. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, talking about the artists from the 90s and our current crop of artists, how, yeah. how do you see the balance? <laughs> There's no balance. <laughs> There's no balance. <laughs> I mean, yeah, them you just live the thing, you know. You know, them you tell you know in a gangster thing and you know all right, just so when, when I was growing up mm -hmm. in my country, my dad, mm -hmm. my dad was a mere singer, me artist, mm -hmm. my dad now get involved in a gun thing or him sit to it at my go to studio, mm -hmm. him sit me keep out a problem. Mm -hmm. Now it's you know what I mean, now every youth of them done. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? You know, I really have no, no real strong community leaders no more. So the youth, them just loose and, you know what I mean, now just bare darkness now. That's a big difference. You know, that's a, you know, so there's no balance, man. So would you agree with people um, who are the view that dance hall is violent? Looking at what is going on now. All right. It was always, I wouldn't say dance hall is violence, you know. It's, it's all about like, your surroundings. Mm -hmm. So you have those where if them are make music, them are make music of them lifestyle and them environment. Mm -hmm. See? But at the same time, Bob Marley came from Trenchtown. But I never hear Bob Marley sing a gun show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all about mindset. You know what I mean? So me want to take myself out of that, that equation that we are even though me living at the garrison, it's rough and beer thing and beer things are going, me still can make music for elevate. You know what I mean? So it's all about mindset. It doesn't matter where you come from. You know? Doctors there in the, in the, the garrison. Lawyers there in the garrison. Chartered accountants, accountants there in the garrison. Pilots there in the garrison. Gunman there in the garrison. Robber there in the garrison. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's all about mindset. You know, movies are violent. Not, not saying the, the director violent. Mm -hmm. And they make a nice drama or a comedy also. All right. So I wouldn't say it's it violent. It's all about the environment and mindset. You know what I mean? All right. I need to do this um, within four minutes. Um, I would like to find out um, from you about artists who take money from promoters and don't show up. In recent times, it, you know, um, it has happened several times where some artists got beat up and all that kind of thing because they took money from promoters and don't show up. You understand me? And again, it's, it's within this time frame of this current crop of artists. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. So what do you make it's, of that? It's sad to say, you know, but in this current crop, the, 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 the scamming mentality lives, is alive, fully alive. So if you can trick somebody and get them money, you know, it's that type of mentality, you know, but there's always a, 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 a outcome to that, a repercussion to that, you know what I mean? So if you, if you play that type of game, then you're going to end up, get the outcome where you, where you, you put out there. So what you put out in the, in the universe, someday karma, you know, it's going to come back and haunt you. So if you decide to take people money and don't show up, one day a man gonna get fed up, and you'll get you know, you know, you might you might end up getting take away too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, it's just a time because you know so much scamming going on now. Here Shaba Shaba said people make him Facebook and Instagram, which him not have none personally. You know. Yeah. So 
it's just it's just a, the, the 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 mindset and you know the times you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So enough scamming I go on. A man say, "Boy, me can create a a we ain't want a page and say we ain't want a dub special." And he 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 might he might put out in the atmosphere say half price. We 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 I don't know nothing about that because that does that do happen that that happened to me. Yeah, I hear on a dub plate. I hear fake stuff, splice stuff, mm-hmm. which is not, you know what I mean? So it's it's out there, you know what I mean? It, you have to just do your best and navigate through this, you know, this wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right. So, um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Edward O'Hini John says, his brother or friend who stole, you know, his money. Um, He's talking about, um, you, 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 he said either your brother or your friend who stole your money. Who, who stole your money? My brother. My brother um, stole the first 300 pounds I ever make out of music. See. What happened? Yeah. All right. Producer Pico came to my community, dropped off some money for me. I, I, I hid it. And then a few days after, I went back to the, 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 the hiding spot and the money is not there. <laughs> <laughs> your brother took it. <laughs> I ran the investigation. I want my siblings. You know, what I mean? <laughs> my first money that I ever made out of music. Oh wow, wow, wow! We give thanks. <laughs> we give thanks because of yo. I have, I have enough, I have enough questions, but I have only five minutes to wrap up. And it's so I sad. know I want to be in the studio, dear <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, so, but, but um, when you you've been to Ghana before? And yes, I've. I've I visited a uh, performing acro before me and Kevin Little. Yes, sir. Two years ago. Yeah. Yes. You know, so. Amazing. Amazing experience. I even have um, all the facts. I brought back um, my drum. This drum here, I bought, I, I bought it in, 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 in Accra. This, this. I bought this from Accra. Here it is. I bought this in Accra. Wow. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, we give thanks. So, so, the, the, the Ghana energy is always in my studio. Def- you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. So how was the experience, <laughs> how was the experience like and performing in Ghana? How was it like? Yeah, it was amazing, man. On the beach, I, it was amazing. I never experienced that type of energy that these are my people. You know what I mean? These are my people. And coming back, just the old energy and the vibe, like I said, yo, you know, because when you're in the West, you know, they paint a different picture, you know. They paint this different picture. It's a made as a hell of a thing, you know. Because they paint this picture like, you know, you're not supposed to go back. You know, I, I love it. I love the food. I love the, the people. Uh, nothing but love. And, you know what I mean? When we in there, all the vehicle and people running down the vehicle, I went to the radio station. And, you know what I mean? So it's just mad love, man. You know, I, I want to come back so bad, man. All right. Mr. Otujando, when Wanda says he wants to come back to Ghana so bad. So what so you say? Bad. What, what you say, Godfather? <laughs> let's do it. Let's make let's it fly, it. no? <laughs> make it fly. <laughs> Zing. I saw a radio. But Ghana, are you <laughs> Ghana, are you ready for Win Wanda? Are you ready for him? You understand me? Are you ready for him? Big up fire crew on the live. Big up Mr. Stephen McCarthy on the live. Are you ready for Winnie Wonder in Ghana? Easy. So, yeah, man, no, no shell, man. definitely, I'm, I'm going to talk to my boss and then we'll get back to you on this, um, Mr. Wayne. But before I leave you finally, once again, I would like to say congratulations on the No Letting Go um, two gold plaques, one in America yes. and w- one in the UK. It's been 19 years putting in the work and trust me, now you're seeing the fruit Bearing fruit and all that kind of thing. Before I leave you finally, you know, um, that you want to come to Ghana so badly, your word yes. of advice to the whole of Ghana and assure Ghana that you want to come back again to Ghana. I just want to spread my love. Love goes out to Ghana. You know what I mean? It's like I visited a lot of places and it reminds me so much of Jamaica. So we know, I know we are connected in some way. You know what I mean? So... Nothing but love and respect, man. You know, love is lovely, war is ugly, man. I mean, Definitely. Sure love, love, man. Love is lovely, war is ugly, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, Wayne. Thank you so much for your time and space. 
Somebody was asking me, how many albums do you have? A quick one before I leave you on the line. Up to date, I've made up, up like about 14 totally now. 14 from a started out. From uh, my first album was um, One More Chance. I recorded for, for Pick Out. You know, and the last one was produced by myself, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, my... <laughs> so... Uh, all right. And I, and I still got more. There's a, yo, our drive, our drive full of song, you know. It's just the right timing because, you know, I, I, I've experienced where I send my song that I'm preaching love and, and DJs are telling me, even in Jamaica, yo, sing of them song, they're too nice. So I'm saying... Isn't the song supposed to be nice? Yes. But doing the darkness thing and the bloodshed and the blood spill and, you know what I mean, the skin out this and the cock up this and, you know what I mean? Yeah, yo, I, what, I, what I have to, to, to say to a lot of artists, in 10 years, they can't perform those songs. Definitely. Because in 10 years, they're more mature. Definitely. In 20 years, we know more mature. So those, those songs are going to be dormant. Definitely. Mr. Wayne. I know it'll go forever. So careful of the topic yet that you choose. Because some of those topics are just temporary. Definitely. You have to choose forever topics, man. Definitely. Real life. Real experiences. Not just this fantasy flossing and just illusion stuff. All right. All they right. are temporary. Respect. Respect. Easy. Thank you so much for your time and space. Let, every time. <laughs> Sorry about the, the, the technical difficulties, but we never lose faith. Definitely. <laughs> Zing. I saw a serious Yeah, man. <laughs> Respected, man. So that was with Wanda talking to us all the way from his home studio in America. We would like to say big respect to 99.5 Asasi Radio in Accra, in Kumasi, 98.5, Cape Coast, 100.3, and Tamale, 99.7. My name is King Lagazi. Respect to Naro Bawa, respect to Jonah, respect to Debbie, you know, joining me in the echo chamber. We'll be here next week to serve God and country. Watch out. Like I said, we have more days on a sassy radio now. And trust me, Mr. Janda was settings right for us to come back again. My name is King Lagazi. I love you all. Easy. <laughs>